Miss Botti sang to the steamworks. <laughs> then it was time to go. You are fun, Thomas. Let's go to the dairy. Thomas knew he should take Miss Botti straight to the town hall. But he didn't want Charlie to think he wasn't fun. I'm sure I still have time to get Miss Botti to the town hall. So Thomas and Charlie left for the dairy. Soon, the two engines came to a junction. Let's puff down there. We can't. That's a bumpy track. But it'll be fun. Thomas wanted to be fun. So he followed Charlie down the bumpy track. Thomas and Charlie bounced and bumped. Ooh. Alicia Botti <gasps> juddered and jumped. <laughs> And the couplings jiggered and jiggled, looser and looser. At last, Thomas and Charlie pulled up to the dairy. That was fun! <laughs> and this is even more fun! We must go, Miss Body. You mustn't be late for the concert. Bye-bye! If you were a really fun engine, you would race me to Knapford. Thomas knew he was late, but he wanted to be really fun. Just one last race, Charlie. Thomas and Charlie thundered and roared. Thomas thought he had never puffed so fast. I'm first. Let's race again. Then Gordon whooshed past. He was huffing grandly. He was taking Sir Topham Hatt to the town hall. Thomas gasped. <gasps> I'm late. I must wish like the wind to the town hall. Thomas pumped his pistons, and he chuffed away quickly in a cloud of steam. I mustn't be late. I mustn't be late. Then there was trouble. Thomas didn't know that his couplings had unhooked. Thomas raced on to the town hall, alone. Thomas steamed to a stop. His cheeks were redder than James's shiny coat. Here I am, sir. Sir Topham Hatt looked hard at Thomas. Here you are, Thomas. But where are Annie and Clarabelle? And where is Miss Potty? Thomas felt terrible. He had been having fun when he should have been really useful. I'm sorry, sir. I've lost them. Sir Topham had boomed. Then you had better go and find them. Thomas puffed to a junction. He had looked for Annie and Clarabel, but he couldn't find them anywhere. Then Charlie chuffed up. He was on his way to the town hall. Hello, Charlie. I've lost Annie and Clarabel and Miss Body. The couplings must have come loose on the bumpy track and snapped when we were racing. Don't worry, Thomas. I have a good idea. What's that? We'll have a race. Whoever finds Annie and Clarabelle first is the number one fun engine. Thomas was stern. He didn't think that was a good idea. No, Charlie. This isn't the time for fun. This is the time for being really useful. I have a very important job to do. And Thomas huffed away. Thomas chuffed carefully. He was very worried. Then Thomas heard singing. He smiled from buffer to buffer. That's Miss Body singing. Hooray! <laughs> Thomas found Miss Body by the bridge. He had never heard anything as beautiful as Miss Body singing. Miss Body must go. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. And Miss Body cheerfully waved goodbye as the crowd clapped and cheered. Thomas puffed to the town hall with Annie and Clarabelle. Sir Topham Hatt was cross. At last, Thomas. You've made Miss Botty very late. Not at all, Bertram. Thomas has made me very happy. I've had the ride of my life. So many people to sing to and such fun. That made Thomas smile, and so did his fun friend, Charlie.